Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Chris Fitzsimon, uh, Progress NC Action filed an ethics complaint against Governor McCrory saying he'd failed to disclose his relationships and financial interest. The governor responded that he complied with the law and noted that this complaint was filed on the same day that other groups, he called them liberal groups, filed complaints nationally. What do you think Progress NC hopes to accomplish with this, and how much damage will it do to McCrory? Well, that's an open question, how much damage it will cost. I think what they're trying to do is focus attention on the fact the governor, I don't think, disputes that he filled some of these forms out incorrectly. He was blaming the form at one point, saying that, uh, he, that he thought it was, he didn't realize it was retroactive to the year before, and he thinks we should change the form. Well, we should then, if he's messing it up. That's just the first thing. The second thing is I'm not sure it's clear that he did disclose all of his income in the proper way, but he acknowledged he filmed the form incorrectly. I also think it's newsworthy when a sitting governor gets a couple hundred thousand dollars from an entity that is being regulated by the state and has had problems being regulated in other states. Uh, so I think there's a lot of unanswered questions still about this. The Ethics Commission can, can decide what to do. That's the Ethics Commission's role. It's interesting that the General Assembly is now, uh, there are some people pushing for changes in those forms, not just the governor. Uh, for example, in, in Congress, you have to, if you own stock in a company that has interest before the state or any company, you have categories of money you have to say you owe between, you know, uh, just, I don't know the categories exactly, but like yeah. uh, 10000 and a million or whatever. In North Carolina, you just have to say whether you own a certain amount of money. You could own $11,000 in a company or $10 million and you'd fill the form out the same way. Well, clearly that's not... Uh, that's not uh, appropriate, I think, for to have an open, transparent government. So I do think there's some problems. I don't think the governor has done uh, what he should do to fill these forms out. I hope the Ethics Commission, at the very least, will use this as a way to make these forms more transparent, more open, and stop giving politicians an, a, a wiggle room so they can have these kind of uh, episodes. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. More video all during the week on ncspin.com.